this battery burnt my mini z board. So, let's try it again. I had a conversation with Xstar and they are trying to market this towards mini z drivers. So, they asked me would I mind trying this again. So, this time I'm gonna try it with two cars, which are the current RTR board, which is the FHSS version. And because it already burned my sports, so I'm gonna try it with the ASF board that I replaced it with. Well, the board that was burned was the Mini Z Sports, which is the old version that you can't buy anymore. Upon inspection, there's no visible damage. I have also tried and replaced the fits, and it still doesn't work. So I decided to replace this board with the aftermarket board, which runs on ASF protocol, because luckily the multi protocol module now supports the Mini Z ASF. The voltage of this battery is 1.5, so with 4 batteries, it is going to be 6 volts exactly. Last time, I didn't film while I was testing it, so this time, let's get everything on a camera. And just to show you that there is no funny business going on here, I'm gonna show you these two cars are actually working. So, let's try this one first. Uh, this is the front wheel drive RTR that I converted to four wheel drive and to a drift car. And because this is the current version of the car, so I think people are going to be using it the most. Ah, uh, well. Uh, well, I'm not using. Well, I'm not using the uh, the stock transmitter. This is the Fly Sky. Noble NB4 with the module installed. Oh, I need to restart the car. So, uh, please don't be alarmed by the antenna color. Uh, normally, it is white antenna, but my broke off, and I could only find black wire in my inventory, so uh, black it is. But the board is still the original FHSS RTR board, and it is running the stock motor. Normally, I'm running it with the IKEA battery, 750 milliamp hour. And to remove the battery easier, I also have a ribbon in here, so I can pull it out and pull the battery out a little bit easier. So let's put this one in. It's going to go in like this. Hopefully, it is working normally, otherwise I'm gonna have to replace this board as well. Right, the moment of truth. Okay, so far so good. Let's put it on the floor and go for a test drive. Oh, 
All right. No smoke. And no smell. So it should be okay. Right, that was 10 minutes of continuous driving, and it's still working. So after 10 minutes, and it's still working fine. So I would say it is working for the current version of the RTR, the FHSS. Of course, it is going to generate some heat. And what about the voltage? I don't think it is going to drop because, well, this type of lithium ion 1.5 volt battery holds the voltage until it runs out. And there we go, still 1.5. Well, drifting might not stress out the electronics as much as touring, so I'm gonna replace the rear solid axle with a differential and also replace all the tires with grip tires and let's try that again Well, that's 10 minutes. And it's still working perfectly. Next up, the MR03 rear wheel drive. As for this one, it is now running the ASF board from Dust Micro, and the motor is also stock. Right, here it is. So, it is working normally. Just to check that it is still working. Alright. Oh, by the way, let's check the voltage before putting it in because it's been running for over 20 minutes now. And I don't know about the voltage. Well, it should still show 1.5, but just to be sure. All right, everyone is still at 1.5. Okay, and here's the moment of truth. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the hell was that? Okay, so that was some 
weird thing. Maybe it's a little bit overworld, I don't know. So. Hmm. Oh. Here's how to replicate that shake. If you turn normally, it'll be alright, but when you turn the steering and let go immediately. Okay, now that's something I've never seen before. Okay, oh no 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 no. Okay, the, and now the car stops. And it never turns on again. Oh no, I've burnt another board. So, in conclusion, it works fine with the FHSS board, but not the ASF and not the FHS. Well, I have. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so. There's no smell and no anything. It just died. <laughs> oh no. Oh, that's a wrap. Oh no, <laughs> I've killed another board. So I've, luckily, I've bought the replacement. So I can just replace that, and I'll have this car working again. Whoa. Okay. So that's that's really disappointing. I thought it's. I really thought it's going to work. So let's try that again. Nope, no response. Uh, okay. Well, I am now very afraid to try this with another car. But anyway, I have tried it with my modified IW04, the Fire Lab, and it worked perfectly. So, I don't know what happened with Mini Z, but some of them just don't work. So, let's see if I can turn this one on. Nope, it is completely dead. Right. <sighs> well, before I go, let's check if there is any burnt mark on the board. Alright, so next we have to remove the shock. And then the front servo cover. There we go. Probably next is the wires. And here it is, the board. Uh, once again, I don't see any burn mark on the board. There really is no visible burn mark. It doesn't smell either. It just dies this time. And if the fat was burning, it should be like a hole here. But there isn't any. Or here. But there is nothing. 
And I'm, I really have no idea how that happened and why. So, can Minis it? Especially the older version, the FHS and ASF, actually run on 6 volt. If you have any idea, please comment down below. Anyway, now that the board is out like this, I can just replace it right away. And there you have it. I didn't think this video would end like this, but here we are. Thanks as always for watching, and see you again next time.